Hi, Rod Menzel with Great Way Roofing on top of the roof of Art Glass, etc. here in Ventura, California. And quick overview of the roof, then I'm going to go into a couple details. Basically, we've got a cap sheet roof system on this back side. On this side here, it looks like there's a torch down roof system. This was done recently. It's a newer roof system up here. And this is the older original roof system. And it actually looks like it comes all the way out to here, which is a good thing because this is where you may have some issues. So anyway, um, there's some basically, there's four skylights on the roof, there's some um, vents and pipes up on the roof, and a couple of HVAC units. Other than that, relatively straightforward roof system. Also, the uh, looks like there's one, two, and then three, four drains and or scupper drains for the roof. There's also good pitch to the roof. As you can see, the roof start here at the high point and it drops down relatively low and quick to that area of the roof there and the water once again drains to those areas. Here's a quick analysis on the roof, overall condition of the roof. It's uh, definitely been patched and repaired. You can see the different mastic repairs, the patches that have happened over time. Um, this doesn't look like this is being used. You probably want to have some, some abandoned equipment, not a lot, that would want to be demoed. Here we've got uh, another patch that's been done. We've got some exposed nails, which isn't necessarily a, a great thing, but um, probably has done its job for at least the time being. I noticed a couple areas where we got some pretty serious deck deflection. So my thought is there may be some bad wood underneath here as well. Not a lot, maybe a sheet or two. Now all the water once again travels from the high point down to here. So you'll notice a lot of water that's going to end up in this area. We've got some ponding water in a couple of areas. These areas you want to handle by first of all scraping out the additional mastic that's in that scupper drain that's causing it to pond. And then we want to reinforce this area as well. Back here on this back wall in particular, um, I, I'm going to have some certain areas we're just going to strip down completely. You see that there's some cracks here. There's definitely a leak source there, here, and on down the back there's a couple other areas as well. Based upon these findings, um, what I'm going to want to recommend is basically come in with a fluid applied acrylic roof system. It is a uh, one ply or two ply option. Um, regardless of what we do, I'd like to put two plies in the waterways where all the water is going to end up. We want to strengthen those wall areas. On top of the walls, since we've got a concrete tilt up, we're just going to want to three course the top of these walls with elastomeric caulking and fabric. We're going to want to do the same thing to all the pipes and all the skylights as well. As an option, I also want to give you an option just to uh, put a coating on the top part of the roof, which only make that roof last a little bit longer than the rest of the roof. The cost to do that will be broken out separately, but it's a fraction of the cost compared to having to come out here and do that from the beginning. Any bad areas like this are going to want to cut out and make sure we have a nice smooth surface. This lumber right here, we're going to want to go ahead and replace this as well. <coughs> we'll put some new pressure treated or weather treated blocks. And all in all, clean the roof system up very nice. In regards to the AC units, they're, they're in good shape. Obviously, it's tough to get underneath there to roof to, to roof properly. However, there is no leaks here currently from what I understand. So we're just going to go ahead and work around this area here. Maybe seal this back up a little bit better as here is right here. One of the benefits of this particular roof system, it's a fluid applied system. There's no solvents. Um, there's no open flame on the roof. And essentially, when we put the white coating on the roof, it's going to cool this back area down. Even though it's not um, mechanically cooled back here, you'll, it will cool the warehouse down significantly. We've got several examples where uh, the building has been cooled down because of this white coated roof. As an option, we may want to consider see the rust here on this HVAC pan. And we've got a seam, this metal, this platform, just big enough where you needed to do seam. So it's possible the water is getting underneath here. As an option, we may want to consider lifting this unit and uh, putting a new uh, pan down if, in fact, there is a leak here. Otherwise, all we could really do is, is, is seal this. It would be a temporary thing. The same for that one over there.